Critics say Belarus has become an accomplice in Putin's war on Ukraine. But many Belarusians who held peaceful protest in 2020 against their longtime ruler, Alexander Lukashenko, have decided to take up arms for Ukraine. Many see an opportunity to free their country from dictatorship. At this training ground in Poland, volunteers are taking their first battle lessons. A former Polish police officer, now a business owner, and his war veteran partner are training Belarusians who sign up for new regiment, known as Pohonia. After a week of training in Poland, the volunteers are transferred to base in Ukraine for a more vigorous, months-long exercise. The regiment's leader expects 40 people to sign up each month and for the numbers to steadily grow. They are highly motivated Belarusians. They have only two targets. One target is to help the brother, brothers, our brothers in Ukraine, because uh, we have a common enemy. The volunteers are resolute in their decision to gain combat experience. Andrei says his family is in Belarus and asked that his face not to be shown for security reasons. It's not only the war of Ukraine. Uh, uh, this is the war of all of the whole uh, free world and uh, uh, Belarus as well, because Belarus is almost 30 years under dictatorship. And it's very painful for us, for, for the Russian people, uh, who really uh, want uh, to be free. Uh, and our desire, our dream, after a defeat of Putin, uh, we hope that the regime of Lukashenko will be destroyed as well. For Kirill, who left Belarus long ago, this fight is about freedom as well. He started helping Ukrainians buy military equipment and then realized he had a big battle at home to support. I realized that we have some Belarusian uh, volunteers, military volunteers, and they are not very good equipment, equi equipped. So we decided to start helping them. We started to send them equipment. Kirill hopes to show that many Belarusian people, unlike Lukashenko, do not support Putin's aggression. That's our guilty before the Ukrainian people, because uh, for now we are who hold the Belarusian passport. Uh, we are the enemies for them, because our country, which is also occupied with the by the tyrant Lukashenko and bomb are shelling from Belarus territory to Ukrainian cities and villages and only that way how to we should provide as much help as we can to Ukraine and their people uh, in their fighting with the Russian aggression. Kirill, like many, was inspired by protests in Belarus two years ago. Back then, their protest was peaceful and protesters were not prepared for the brutality of Lukashenko's forces. Now, Lukashenko's opponents are working to get ready for battle. The Belarusian leadership in exile last month endorsed the Pohonia regiment. Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, the woman who is believed by many to be the rightful winner of Belarusians' 2020 election on Twitter, referred to the unit as a base for the new professional Belarusian army. The unit's leader, Vadim Prokopiev, sees the endorsement as a first step toward freeing Belarus from Lukashenko. I think the time has come that uh... Our leadership, our political leadership in exile, uh, take more desperate and more um, decisive measures. And if Ukrainian uh, Ukrainians will see enough potential and enough power, I think the recognition of a government in exile is a very good and strong move. He says his regiment is growing, and soon BOA has learned some experienced trainers, including U.S. Army veterans, will join the fight. Moroslava Gongadze, BOA News, Warsaw.